right? All right, and we're back. So yeah, guys, semifinals for mini tournament eight. We are gonna get started here with a Jotunheimer, a Jotunheimer versus Break Yourself. So it does look like we have all parties. Uh, well, we did have all parties in the game, but yeah, we will uh, go ahead and jump on over to that main tournament screen and boom all right so yeah it, it's gonna be an interesting matchup here um, definitely definitely an interesting matchup as you know we do have Jotunheimer versus break yourself so break yourself actually consisting of breaks and Clint um, as far as Jotunheimer goes it's misfit and Mancer so we do have uh, or, sorry, Clint it was replaced by Tech earlier. Uh, they did give me a notice before the tournament started that they were going to have that replacement. And, yeah, you might know Tech as Exo. Um, but, yeah, so it looks like we are just waiting for Misfit at this point. Where are you, Misfit? Where are you? We need you, man. Misfit! You gotta be here somewhere, Misfit. You gotta be here somewhere. <laughs> okay, go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah, you can go to the bathroom real quick, Tech. But yeah does look like we are going to get this game started pretty quick as Misfit did jump in. I believe Tech is going to the bathroom real quick. He did send me a message on uh, on Steam. So. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take off that text and throw that uh, webcam back up. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey. So yeah. 
like I said before, guys, if you are new to Brawlhalla and you're still waiting on a key and you're viewing this stream, go ahead and, uh, yeah, jump on and give me a tweet or, you know, go ahead and send me a message on Twitch. Anything like that will actually work. I'll go ahead and send you out two keys if you're a new player or a new person wanting to be a player. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. <laughs> Have to have my blue eyebrows to win, according to Tybo. <laughs> Everybody knows blue skin does more damage. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it looks like we're still averaging around that 50 viewers across all three platforms. You know what? Go ahead, jump on twi or Twitter, jump on Facebook. Let's get the word out for these semifinals and these finals. Let's get uh, get it going. Get more people in here. More people viewing. We like we like spreading the good word of Brawlhalla and the, uh, definitely the good word of the competitive community as well. So if you're not part of the Brawlhalla competitive community, it is a Steam group. Go ahead and join that. Uh, we do a lot of our game day, our tournament day organization through that group. We use the chat a lot. You know, just kind of getting people in games, things like that. So it does look like both teams are in the colors have been swapped we're just waiting for them to select characters and get this going so <laughs> ninja too much medication to focus yeah I'm, I'm like really hyper right now because I've had so many cups of tea I'm like yeah oh so much caffeine I'm, I'm lit right now lit on caffeine So yeah, here in the semis and the finals, we step up to five stocks. Everything still is a best of three. So you're actually going to see a little bit longer of games, but this kind of lets people shine more. You don't have those uh, those immediate deficits that you would in a three stock game where, you know, I mean, a three one is a lot different than a five three. So here we go. Game one, Tech and Breaks versus Manser and Misfit. See how this goes. Jotunheim, Jotunheimer, Misfit, and Manser coming in as the number one seed in this tournament. With good reason. I mean, um, Manser, kind of new, but, you know, Misfit has been around for some time. One of the top players since, you know, we started doing these tournaments back in December. And, yeah, good start out here. A lot of damage coming out from that Misfit uh that sentinel with that signature the the active frames on that signature are just insane and it actually has become a little bit of a problem now that they nerfed the uh the weapon throw damage as you can't just sit back and throw at somebody who's spamming as we do see breaks get caught in those active frames and now wow first first ko comes off of that signature tech going down to misfit Oh, beautiful bomb bounce right there. But we are still one stock ahead here for... For, um... God, I forget the name of their team. Tech and Breaks. Uh, break yourself. You know, they got a nice little double kill there on Jotunheimer. And they took the lead with that one stock right now. Oh, and there goes a KO from Misfit as... He does get the hammer signature. Tech in trouble right now. And it's evened up 4-4. Four to four. I mean, right now, you do have Tech, who is in the red. Could fly off at any moment with any good good signature. Right there, Misfit with that Qatar signature from Sentinel once again. But he gets launched by Breaks with that, uh, that hammer signature from Breaks', Breaks Ganache. Oh, Sentinel, so hard to knock out with that that armor that he has. And there it is. Breaks with the side air. 
knocks Misfit out, so it's a tied up game right now, even with Mancer in the red. I mean, if they can knock out Mancer here, as they do, Breaks getting that that signature there with his Ganache, they're in the lead by one stock again. And you can actually see the teamwork here between Breaks and Tech. They're kind of surrounding you know, Jotunheimer and hitting him from both sides. It actually is kind of helping him out. Breaks there actually baiting out Misfit's signature and then landing his own signature for that punishment. It looks like we're getting a little more 1v1 here now as Breaks and Misfit break off and Tech and Mancer broke off there for a little bit. You know, sometimes you'll see that happen in these 2v2s where you know, one player from each team will break off with another player, and they'll just kind of do a 1v1 on the side. Mancer, beautiful uppercut there on Tech, but does not get the KO. Nice bouncing bomb, almost gets Mancer, but Mancer with the beautiful, you know, spot dodge there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tech with the mind throw, hitting Misfit. Misfit had already dodged. Wasn't going to get back in. It's a 4-2, 3-2 right now. So still one stock up for Break Yourself. But now they're two stocks up. I mean, Breaks right now kind of carrying the Break Yourself team as he's at four stocks still with his Nash. Anything, though, could knock him off. He's been red for a little bit now. I'm sure there's quite a bit of damage on him. A good... A good signature will take him out, though right there, Misfit's signature does not get him as he does go cross map on that one. And you can kind of see the way that Break Yourself is really working on, oh, beautiful KO there by Mancer, knowing that uh, Breaks was going to be out of jumps and out of dodge. And it's evened up right now with a four stock, but right now break yourself might be in a little bit of danger tech really needs to conserve his last stock here so that it doesn't become a 2v1 where jotenheimer has shown in the past that they are they're great competitors when they get that 2v1 they lose very few games at that point oh nice neutral air by breaks does not send misfit off that top boundary but very close Oh, and Tech takes out Misfit, so it's a 4-2 to two stock game right now, but Tech in trouble. This is very close to becoming a 2v1. Tech making it back to the wall. And there's Signature from Misfit and <coughs> getting the double knockout off of it. So right now it's a 2v1, two stocks apiece per team. Can Breaks overcome and beat out this 2v1? I mean, if he can get Mancer out right now, if he can get a good shot on Mancer, I mean, this, this would turn it back into a 1v1 and he would have the advantage stock-wise. Oh, there goes that signature again from Misfit. You can expect to see that spam like crazy. Oh, misses the uppercut with the dodge from Mancer. If he would have landed that uppercut, it, it could have just been a 1v1 right there. Oh, catch caught by the active frames. And it's now two stocks to one. Grand's a very, very short two stocks for, uh, for Jotunheimer. Beautiful, beautiful dive kick there from Breaks to stop Misfit from that possible combo. Gets the mind throw. Both members of Jotunheimer dodge through it. And Breaks just trying at this point to, you know, make something out of, you know, what he has. Beautiful signature there to edge guard by Misfit. Breaks really in trouble here as he is now in the red. Can he get it? Can he get Mancer? No. Mancer with the recovery. Makes himself back onto the map and breaks in huge trouble right now.
and there it is signature by Manser so with two stocks left when it became a two to one or sorry three stocks left breaks was not able to finish and Jotunheimer takes game one of the semifinal match so we're gonna see game two coming up here we see the GG's coming out in the game chat all right, so let's see if we're going to get a switch up here. It does not look like we are. Manser in his Orion, Misfit in his Sentinel, and then Breaks and Tech coming back with that same Ganache and Lucian combo. So, yeah. All right, so it looks like Break Yourself is going to pick Blackguard Keep. For this next game, Misfit randomly dropping out. Needs to come back in. <laughs> Be right back one sec. Just sip on my tea while we wait for Misfit. <sighs> Alright, so Misfit is back. And yeah, guys, go ahead and tweet out anything you can. Go ahead and pull mine up. All right, so we're looking at game two here. And what is Misfit going to pick? I'm assuming he's going to go back with his Sentinel. It is going to be on Blackguard. So Hammer is pretty good on Blackguard as those, uh, those platforms on the side, those moving platforms, very dangerous versus, you know, playing on them versus a Hammer. Uh, we do see Manser sticking with his Orion. The only two hammers here are Breaks and Misfit, though. <laughs> All right, so game two, ladies and gentlemen. Breaks in tech as Team Break Yourself versus Misfit and Manser. Team Jotunheimer. Team Jotunheimer has the lead with one game. These are five stock games. And yeah, right now, Jotunheimer kind of, you know, in the advantage here on the damage as, you know, you still have Manser who looks to have not taken a hit so far. Then breaks already in the orange on his Ganache. Gets interrupted on his signature. Valkyrie coming in for... 14 break yourself and tech right now looking to maybe combo a double hit there on that signature from misfit and sends breaks off the map tech still still on so and there it is we have a two stock lead for jotenheimer both players from break yourself off the map hitting the boundary beautiful side air from breaks and then the recovery and another recovery takes Misfit out. So they are one stock behind. Beautiful bounce throw from Manser. A little bouncing Betty right there. And Breaks just kind of spamming signature moves at this point. Tech in trouble with the red damage now. Ooh, almost gets knocked out by Misfit there. Beautiful signature landed by Breaks. Manser with... Oh, Misfit taking out Tech at this point. Breaks going for the bomb. Gets the hit. Takes out Manser. But is it, a little, is it too little too late as they are one stock down still and hurting at this point. And Tech with the kill there on Misfit. That, uh, that side heavy gets the KO. A little misstep there by Jotunheimer as Misfit actually hits Manser. And this game is, for the most part, evened up on damage almost. And Tech having a problem getting back there, but does manage to get back. 
and beautiful side heavy again from Tech to actually take the lead, but Misfit with that signature gets a double and takes the lead right back for Jotunheimer. Tech doing some work up both members of Jotunheimer there with some slides to neutral airs. Yeah, right now, I mean, it's still a pretty even game. Granted, you know, Break Yourself has been having problems dealing with Misfit's signature spam. Beautiful signature to punish Misfit right there. And we're even once again. Granted, you know, Misfit now with 0% damage. Tech getting launched by Misfit's hammer signature. Both members of Break Yourself in the red right now Mancer and Misfit throwing everything they can at them trying to just get a nice kill out of those throws didn't manage to but now they're just kind of sticking together this is what you're gonna see out of Misfit and Mancer as we do see that KO from Misfit on tech and it's a 3-2 to 3-1 right now very close to it being you know another 2v1 real quick there it is we see Breaks go down, so there's a good two stock lead right now for Jotunheimer. Tech getting hit with that mine, taking more damage. He really needs to make this last stock last. Oh, that that is such a brutal, brutal signature. We did have an accident right there. As Tech takes out Breaks, so now it is a three-stock lead for Jotunheimer, and this could spell the end for Team Break Yourself. And there it is, Tech down. It's just Break by himself. One stock to go. We're going to see this go down in two, most likely. And Breaks just decides to fall doesn't really you know think there's too much in continuing in that game so yeah Jotunheimer moves on in our first semi-final match ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna go ahead and jump on over to the bracket we're gonna update it all right so Jotunheimer does move on over break good match Good fight, good night to Team Break Yourself. And yeah, so our next matchup is going to be Team Washed Up versus Team Average Joes. So yeah, what we need in this room right now is going to be Taibo and Yamisora versus Washed Up. Where are you, Washed Up? Ruin and Pots and Pans. So definitely a good matchup coming up here a lot of top level players and it does look like they are in game so let's go ahead and jump back over to that main tournament screen ah and i'm gonna go ahead and get an update here before we get this game started on twitter so let's jump on twitter first semi in at Brawlhalla, MT8 goes to Jotunheimer over Break Yourself. Match two incoming. All right, so it's getting started. Alright, so Tweet is out, and I'm going to get this game commentated for you guys. So, looks like uh, Taibo and Yamasora already in danger with all of that uh, that damage. Sir Pots and Pans in Ruin get that first blood, taking out Taibo. And it's a 10 stock to 9 stock game at this point. Hey, babe, what's up? Yeah, you're already showing. And beautiful edge guard there by Pots and Pans to make it a two-stock lead at this point. Wow, 
Wow, that's that is definitely a good run here so far by the washed up team. But we do see our fur both players from washed up get taken out there at a good team team fight there on the edge. And uh, Yamasaur and Taibo even it up though. Right now Taibo in danger in that red damage. Nice uh, recovery there by Ruin. And pots and pans and Ruin sticking together pretty well here. Both teams actually sticking together very well, working as cohesive groups. We do get that side heavy from Sir Pots and Pans taking out Taibo. And we do get Yamasora actually getting the recovery with the guns, but versus a a Roland really hard to knock out with that one of the harder players to knock out and Ruin with that signature does take out Yamasora so they are up by two stocks once again and you can see it right here Yamasora and Taibo kind of getting split up and that might be kind of what is making them go down right now oh and look at that they turn it right around and split up Ruin and Sir Pots and Pants Finally, Pots and Pans taken out. He had been in red for a while, but the power of that uh, that Roland shows through with that heavy, heavy defense. Nice sword side air from Sir Pots. Down air now on Yamasora, doing a lot of work with that sword, even though that sword recently did get a nerf. And there you see that... Uh, the signature from Taibo. Sir Pots and Pans actually hit him. Oh, and an accident there. Sir Pots and Pans takes out Ruin with that bomb. And right now, it's, you know, Ruin taking out Taibo. I was going to say, now is Taibo and Yamasaurus' chance to take the lead. But, you know, all they can do at this point is even it up if they can take out Sir Pots and Pans. But I don't really see that happening anytime very soon with that Roland and Pots and Pans ability to use that Roland to its full extent. Beautiful edge guard by Taibo and then the tag team there with Yamasaur on the ground pound takes out Pots and Pans so it is evened up but uh, Yamasaur right now in danger and off the boundary so yeah the washed up team does take that one stock lead again Beautiful edge guard there from Pots and Pans, but Taibo able to make it back. Dive kick from Yamasora into the mine. Hits both him and Sir Pots and Pans. Pots and Pans returns with a slide to neutral air. And beautiful signature there by Ruin. Gives them a two stock lead again at this point. Oh, the active frames on that Sentinel signature. That needs to get patched. It needs to get patched quickly. <laughs> Once again, the active frames. So we do see Pots and Pans here on his last stock. It's a one stock lead now. And all we see Taibo doing is just spamming that signature. Nice punishment though there by Ruin. So, I mean, it seems like from what I've seen here in this tournament, Nash's signature there with the hammer is a great way to kind of punish the uh, that signature from Sentinel. But we do see pots go down, so it is a two v one right now. And I mean, they have a Yamasaur and Taibo have a one stock lead. This is not good for Ruin at this point, especially versus a Sentinel. And beautiful mace ball throw. Bad jump there by Ruin. He is down to his last stock. And wow, this is this is actually, you know, the washed ups actually had the lead pretty much the entire game and then just got taken down all of a sudden by the average Joe's. Average Joe's gymnasium. So yeah, Ruin just trying to take as little damage as possible, but I think at this point it's not even worth it. And there we go, we do see him fall there. So yeah, 
Average Joe's takes game one. Game one goes to Average Joe's. Oh. Is this going to be the end of the washed ups? Is Average Joe's going to take it and go into a, uh, a finals match versus Jotunheimer? So they, it looks like they are going back on to Mammoth. And we're getting game two right now. All right. So Taibo and Yamasora take game one. They are in the lead. Taibo and Rune here. The washed ups really need to win this game in order to tie it up and take it to a game three. But the last game, they were leading the entire time. Almost an early death there by Taibo, but manages to not go off. But we do see Nash taking out Yamasora. So that would be Ruin on Nash. Early lead here coming out from the washed ups. But we saw what happened last time as they led through the entire game. And then lost it there at the end as we do see Taibo fall there as well. So a two stock lead here for the washed ups. Oh, Sir Pots and Pans does manage to not go off the boundary. Picks up the mine midair and manages to get back. Oh, but beautiful mind toss there by Yamasora. Takes Sir Pots and Pans, punishes him for that, uh, that down heavy from Sir Pots and Pans with that lance. And right now, both members of Average Joe's in red. This could go to a three stock lead real quick here. Yeah, Insuraki, go ahead and send me a message here on Twitch. I'm Compton EMT, and I will go ahead and get you a pair of keys, because it's always more fun with a friend. Shut down. All right, so it does look like we have a one-stock lead as... Both of the washed up players do get taken out there. So it's a 4-3 to a 3-3 three, three right here. They really kind of, they could have actually spaced themselves out here and gotten a nice lead. But with that, that uh, double fall there, it's going to be a little hard. They do have to win this game to take it to a game three. And we do see Taibo get taken down. So we're back to a two-stock lead, Grant's a pretty short two-stock lead. As we see Yamasora get thrown off the edge, but make it back. Oh, Ruin taking out Yamasora. So now it is a three-stock lead. Short three-stock, though. So we're pots and pans and ruin the washed ups really trying to make a comeback here as we do see pots and pans get launched off the side with that down heavy coming out of Yamasora with the guns and Taibo back to the signature spam does get taken out by ruin so yeah and you know ruin then getting taken out by Yamasora's ground pound but still a solid lead right here I think we might see a game three, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh but Froned, or sorry, Froned, I was looking at you in chat. Sir Pots and Pans down. Can they eliminate, they need to focus down Sir Pots and Pans right now. If they want to get that 2v1 once again and take out the, uh, the washed up team. It's possible if they can manage to take out pots and pans here. That three stock, uh, the three stocks that Ruin has won't mean a lot. And right now, Sir Pots and Pans in the mid orange. That would give him about a hundred damage at this point. And beautiful down heavy from Sir Pots and Pans 
followed by a recovery to hit Tybo. And we're down to the last two stocks here for the Average Joes. But there it is, Ruin dropping to Yamasora. And it's only a one stock lead at this point. Can Average Joes knock this out in two games, or are we, or are we going to a three game, a three game, uh, a three match, three game match? That's what I was looking to say. Ugh. <laughs> oh, and there it is. We see Taibo go down, so now it's a two v one the other way. Yamasora by himself versus Ruin and Sir Pots and Pants. I think this is going to a game three, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know that Yamasora can match up versus ruin answer pots and pans especially with no weapon at this point does pick up the bomb bounce and does not hit anybody and there it is the signature from ruin on that spear on ganache and they take that one with three stocks remaining so yeah so it looks like we're going to king's pass for game three whoever wins this will go on to face team jotenheimer will it be the washed ups also part of the clan Jotunheimer, or are we going to see Average Joes move on to the finals and see a Tech versus J.O. final? Let's find out. Game three, incoming. Three, two, one, <laughs> And yeah, let's see who takes the lead early. Damage wise, it does look like like uh, washed ups taking a lot more damage, but that quickly switches over to average Joe's taking more damage. Oh, nice fight there in the shenanigan area. Both players do manage to make it back. Tybo losing his guitars, so no more spam at that point until he gets a new set of guitars. Yamasora off the edge. Ruin with the recovery move to take out Taibo at this point. And that's a one stock lead. And right now Yamasora in trouble as well with red damage. <coughs> and there's the KO. So we have a two stock lead here, or a one stock lead here for the washed ups. Yeah, Sir Pots and Pans and Ruin, the washed ups, trying to stick together. You saw them kind of go back and regroup. They want to take a good lead here as Tybo gets launched. And you can see Ruin just kind of trying to protect Sir Pots and Pans. And Pots and Pans with the uppercut takes out Tybo, but then Yamasora taking out Pots and Pans with that gun recovery. So we're still only at a one stock lead. It's a sh very short one stock as we do see Ruin in the red on his ganache. So still anybody's game at this point. Woo! Pots and pans right now trying to protect Ruin. Make sure, oh, beautiful bomb throw. And Taibo takes out. Oh, Ruin and Pots and Pans almost falls, you know, doing that little dance underneath the island. And it's a tied up game, ladies and gentlemen. And right now, Pots and Pans, probably with the most damage out of anybody, though he is one of the four stock players, gets a nice, you know, Yamasaur gets a nice recovery move there. And boom! The side heavy from Yamasaurus sends Pots and Pans flying, and they take a one stock lead at this point. And both of them in the orange right now. Yamasaurus with a side heavy on unarmed does get taken out now, though, but that puts them in a stock lead. But now, right back as Taibo goes down, too, right back to even. Pots and Pans right now, the only player with damage, takes a little more from Yamasaurus there. Oh, Pots and Pans gets tag teamed in the shenanigan area. And that's a one stock lead here for Average Joes.
But yeah, Average Joe's hurting a little bit on the damage. You can see Ruin and Sir Pots and Pans don't want to go down as, you know, that's one thing. you got Yamasoro with the guns. That first shot is at the top, so he will, if you're trying to come down at him, his, uh, his quick side airs there will hit you before you get a chance to hit him. That, and they don't want to, you know, go after Taibo, who has been using those guitars and spamming that signature. But we do see Yamasora go down now. That evens it up stock-wise. Taibo dancing around below the islands, just trying to stay alive. Beautiful signature there to hit the short, the short uh, top border from Yamasora, taking out Ruin. And right now, I mean, there is a one stock here on both teams as we do see Taibo go down. This is going down to the wire. Who's gonna win? Who's going on to face Team Jotunheimer in the finals? Yamasora taken out, so one stock lead here for the washed up. Granted, Pots and Pans in the red, not getting sent away by Taibo's signature, but really out kind of and there it is, Taibo with the signature, evens it up one to one. This is a, probably the closest match we've seen so far this tournament. Beautiful bomb throw by Yamasora, followed by the ground pound. Taibo just kind of, you know, keeping Ruin off the edge there with that edge guard. Taibo still kind of spamming that signature. The active frames on it are amazing, but Ruin and Pots and Pans doing a good job of avoiding it. Oh. And right now, Average Joe's was the one, you know, at a deficit, but with Yamasora on that, uh, that recovery move, takes the lead and makes it a 2v1. And this is looking very bleak for the washed ups as Yamasora with the uppercut takes out pots and pans and Average Joe's moving on to the finals versus Jotunheimer. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump on over to that uh, that bracket and update it and we're going into the finals ladies and gentlemen but we are gonna take a quick break. Alright so let's go ahead and update this as Average Joe's Takes that semifinal match, so yeah, we're gonna see. It's gonna be glorious. It's going to be glorious. So yeah, guys, um, I know I did miss. I did tell somebody to send me a message on Twitch to get some keys. Let's go ahead and see here. There it is in Seraki. I'll go ahead and give you some keys as you are looking for them. Go ahead and grab those for you real quick. All right. There you go, in Seraki. They are on the way. You should be getting them shortly in your Twitch mail. <laughs> Tech versus JL for the finals, man. So climactic, such hype. That is correct on tilt. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, tweet out. You know, at Greg R T Henson, if you want to tweet out, uh, go ahead and just kind of show you guys what I'm going to be tweeting out. Let's get that. Uh, that scene up showing you. All right, so the at Brawlhalla MT8 is going into finals. Average Joe's versus Jotunheimer. Come watch. Twitch.tv slash Compton EMT or hitbox.tv slash Compton EMT. Tweeting that out, I am at Greg RT Henson. You guys can go ahead and retweet or send out your own tweet. 
There it is, at Greg R.T. Henson, guys. So, yeah, we're going to jump over to that intro. We will be back on the top of two minutes. No, guys, no! You're starting the game already. Oh, well. Let's jump on over and get that uh, the game going. So, here we go. Finals, guys. Finals. It's the finals! <laughs> no worries, guys. No worries. Here we go. So, Average Joes versus Jotunheimer. So, Jotunheimer is Misfit and Mancer. They are in the red. Average Joes is in the blue with Tybo and Yamasaur. You saw them just beat out another Jotunheimer team of Washed Up. And my T is gone. But it is the finals. And we do see Jotunheimer take an early lead here with a double knockout. But Yamasoro with a bomb throw takes out both Manser and Misfit. Good bomb throw right there to actually even it up. So both teams coming in zero damage. It's essentially a four stock game at that point. <laughs> yeah, Fairy, I, I do a lot on the production side of things. I know I don't really have the standard commentator voice, or I'm not really as interesting of a person as some other commentators, so I make up for it with production value. We do see both players from Jotunheimer go down, so it is a two-stock lead here for the average Joes here in Game 1. And yeah, Jotunheimer trying to make a comeback here, sticking together. We do see one KO coming out of Misfit there on Tybo, a little Sentinel on Sentinel violence. And yeah, it's a one stock lead right now here for the average Joes, for that tech team. And, you know, right now, Mancer in the red, along with Yamasora in the red. The only difference between those two players is Yamasora was at four stocks, but Mancer, the other player in red, taking him out right there. So, evened up stock-wise, but damage-wise, still a bit of a difference. Oh, nice neutral air from Taibo there, catching both members of Jotunheimer, followed up by Yamasoro with the with the, uh, the recovery on those guns. And once again with the recovery to take out Misfit as well. So it's a two-stock lead here for the, uh, the average Joes. Misfit catching Taibo there with the active frames, chasing him, but no hits happening. And Mancer with that down heavy from Orion flings Tybo back and off of the side boundary. It's a one stock lead. <laughs> the beauty and intricacy of Qatar gameplay. Yes. It should be on like National Geographic. They should be talking about Qatar play. All right, so we do see Lucian, which is Yamasora, taking out Manser. That gives them a nice uh, four-stock lead at this point, or three-stock lead, sorry. Or two-stock. Wow, I'm really off with my math right now. But yeah, we do see Yamasora go off the top, so it is now a one-stock lead. And right now, Manser needs to be very careful with that last stock to not give that uh, 2v1 for for the average Joes. Oh, and there it is. Tybo with that signature that we've seen spammed by both him and Misfit. More Sentinel on Sentinel violence as he ta took out Misfit. And now with Mansur down, it's a 2v1 Misfit on his last stock. 
you know, and it's a four to one deficit right now on stocks. I'm gonna call this here for average Joe's. This fit just gonna drop there, and we're gonna go to game two. Game one goes to average Joe's. All right, so let's see. GG's coming out. Game one goes to average Joe's. Can Jotenheimer make a comeback in this at Brawlhalla MT8 Finals match? Find out now. Twitch.tv slash Compton EMT. All right. So we are trying to figure out what map. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Game two, ladies and gentlemen. Jotunheimer versus the average Joes. Taibo and Yamasora, Average Joe's in blue, part of Clan TEC, Mansur and Misfit, Team Jotunheimer in the red, part of Clan Jotunheimer. We're getting this going. If uh, if Average Joe's can win this right here, they take the finals in two games. But uh, yeah, Jotunheimer definitely capable of bringing this back and sending it to a game three. First blood goes to Jotheimer as they do take out Yamasora there. Misfit has made the switch to Roland for this game, coming off of his Sentinel. <coughs> Sorry about that. And yeah, still just a one-stock lead here for Jotunheimer, though Misfit with that uh, Lance, Mancer with that uh, that side heavy taking out Tybo, so now it is a two-stock lead. You can see Mancer and Misfit here going with the double Lance. Mancer now falling with his Orion. It's a one-stock game, guys. Two players in red right now, one for each team. Yamasora on average Joes and Misfit on Team Jotunheimer. Misfit though with the five stocks compared to Yamasora's. Yamasora's four. Misfit getting edge guarded there by Taibo with uh, Yamasora chasing him. Mansur with the nice hit taking out Yamasora. Two stocks up at this point. And there goes Mansur. Misfit by himself here for a couple of seconds. One stock lead. And Misfit still on his five, his fifth stock. That's uh, that eight defense of Roland. A very, very serious stat as it is so hard to take him out. And we do see Taibo falling off the bottom boundary. And it's back to a two stock game. Back to a one stock game as you know Yamasora takes out Misfit there. <coughs> for Misfit's first fall of this uh, the second game of this finals match and Yamasora bad movement there trying to go underneath really hurts his team as now it is a two stock lead once again for Jotunheimer Jotunheimer looking very promising here in this game two of the finals And right now, Yamasora and Taibo in danger. A nice side heavy there from Misfit. Makes it four stocks to seven. Two stock lead at this point. And Jotunheimer coming back with a vengeance. And it really does kind of seem to be this double Lance play right now. Even though Mancer now switching up to 
the spear at this point. Beautiful recovery there from Taibo, but it is against a Roland in a Roland in Misfit, so he does not get the KO. Beautiful mace ball throw by Misfit takes out Yamasora, and I mean it's a six to three right now. They've increased their lead to three stocks at this point, looking very strong. Taibo in the red almost gets taken out. And right now, I mean, Mansur and Misfit just taking it to Taibo and Yamasora. Oh, Mansur almost getting KO'd there. Oh, in all of this armor that you see in this matchup. I mean, we're looking at some of the most armored characters in the game as we do see it drop to a 2v1 now. Taibo in a deficit of, you know, four stocks here. It's a 6-2 to two game. This is a dominant performance in game two of the finals here by Jotunheimer. Taibo drops now, now a 6-1. to one. We might just see Taibo run off the side unless he still wants to play. We'll see. He is still fighting, so he wants to actually, you know, maybe get a moral victory and maybe get two KOs here. Or hope to get two KOs here. This could backfire, though. I mean, if he doesn't get that a KO here, at least one of them, it was just kind of all for naught. Oh, Misfit putting out the salt, and that is a six-stock game. And we go to game three. So let's go ahead and put that tweet out. Jotunheimer, six stocks, average Joes, final game three incoming in at Brawlhalla, MT8 finals, hype, hitbot, or Twitch, let's just go hitbox. Fits perfectly, zero characters left. All right, so looks like uh, we are waiting for the last map pick here. We'll see what it is. All right, so it's going to be King's Pass, or as it used to be called back in the day, Fjord. No change to the characters here. You know, this is game three. This is for all of the marbles, ladies and gentlemen. Yamasora and Taibo, Team Average Joes, versus Mansur and Misfit. <coughs> Team Jotunheimer. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hitchbox. Yes, yeah, CO. <coughs> And yeah, I mean, Misfit and Mansur here taking the early lead on damage, it seems, but anything can happen here still at five stocks APs for all players. And it looks like both teams wanting the other team to come after them. We do see that double. Lance play coming out again from Jotunheimer. Nice throw there of the mace ball by Yamasora, but does get hit by the Roland signature and then followed up with the Manser with that spear recovery. And it's we got that first blood there. Once again, Jotunheimer getting the first blood. Yes, Ninja, it is on Connect Casta as well. The majority of the viewers do come from Hitbox and Twitch, though. So, yeah, this is the footsie meta, Nestle. This is the footsie meta. Oh, 
Taibo in trouble at this point. And right now, I mean, we're just sitting on the sides of the map. This could go... I mean, nobody's moving. Nobody's doing anything. This could go to a sudden death, ladies and gentlemen. Because, uh... Because neither of these teams really want to fight each other at this point. Oh, Mancer getting the dive kick on Yamasora. If he wouldn't have done that, that would have been a nice KO for Yamasora. <coughs> and the both players from Average Joes go down. So it's 4-3 to three right now. <coughs> and all Jotunheimer has to do is hang on here to their lead, to their three stock lead, and they're gonna win. We're already th almost three minutes through this game here. Oh, Taibo missing the recovery. Could have taken Misfit out there. They were very high up in the sky, very close to that boundary. I think he actually would have gotten that KO there on Misfit if he had connected. So once again, we see both teams just kind of stalling out. And right now, that's not going to help Average Joes. They need to get in there and get a couple of KOs. I mean, if this time does run out, guess what? Yeah, it's, it's basically over. Beautiful, beautiful signature there by Taibo. We hadn't seen a lot of... You know, signature spam. Taibo with the double knockout. Brings it back to a one-stock game. And Misfit just fell to his death. I don't know if that was a disconnect or not. But Misfit standing still. It's Mancer all by himself. What is going on with Misfit at this point? Who knows? Oh, does manage to get the wall tap at the very bottom of the wall. And Misfit, I mean, he might be getting some lag or something. Because he is not playing to his normal and that could spell death for team jotenheimer as right now that just put put the average joes in the lead not something you want to see in a finals match but oh misfit just taking it to the face from taibo right now wondering if it was a disconnect and that might be a bot at this point <laughs> and right there Mancer with the with the uh, recovery takes out Tybo but it's still 3-3 to a 4-1 right here and I'm I'm going to call this it's going to be average Joe's taking out Jotunheimer here in the finals sadly with the lag that Misfit is receiving it's going to be really hard for uh for Jotunheimer to win this match <laughs> and there goes Misfit for his last stock. And this is basically over, guys. It's just a matter of Mancer. You know, losing his four stocks. There goes one as Yamasora with the ground pound. So, great tournament, but definitely a sad way to end here as Misfit with some lag issues or disconnect really kind of sends this game three of the finals into a, into a tailspin. Mancer does get that signature to make it a five to three stock game. So, anything is possible, but I mean... But yeah, definitely a sad way to watch these finals end up. And there goes Mancer with another stock going down. Once again, the unarmed ground pound takes him out. 
Vancer is still fighting pretty feverishly. Does get the KO there on Taibo, so gets a nice ground pound on Yamasaurus and looks like the KO too. So he is making a comeback 2v1 here. Can he pull it out? We thought this might not be a good fight game three, but if Mansur can pull this out, it is gonna be the comeback of you know of the century here for for Brawlhalla. Good ground pound from Yamasora there. But Mansur really oh Yamasora there with the side air makes it a three to one game. But Mansur putting up a fight even though it is a 2v1 at this point. Beautiful ground pound hits both Yamasora and Taibo. This is what you like to see, even though he's down on his luck and the cards have been turned, you know, away from his favor. He's putting up a good fight. I mean, he, he's being a good sport, putting up a good fight. Looks like Yamasora is going to let Mansur and Taibo 1v1 at this point. <coughs> That's some sportsmanship right there. But with the time running out... It's going to be Average Joe's with the win. So, a sad, sad game three. But we do have our champions here of the Average Joe's. So, yeah. Let's go ahead, jump on over to that bracket, and crown our champion. All right, so... Yeah, definitely really sad to see you guys. Very sad to see JL was in the lead before Misfits Disconnect. I don't know, will it, will it be considered? No, there's no prize for mini tournaments, but... Uh, but yeah, let me um, jump back in, see if uh, doesn't look like the game is still up. So all right, so yeah, guys, that's gonna be mini tournament number eight. Sadly, it ends on a very sad note. MT eight four at Brawlhalla ends in a disconnect win for average Joe's over Jotunheimer. Mancer put up a fight though. Till next time. Alright. Sending out that tweet, and yeah, guys, thanks for joining us. This has been Mini Tournament 8 for Brawlhalla. And yeah, we crowned Average Joes. It might have been, you know, a kind of sad way to crown them, but first two games in that match were beautiful. Average Joes worked really hard. Their semifinal game with Washed Up, really, really good semifinal game. But hey, they took it in the end, even though it was a disconnect. Let's give him some props, some respect. But uh, we will see you next time. And until next time, happy brawling, guys. I'm going to send you out with that... Uh, <coughs> with that... That... Uh, oh, God. I cannot even think right now. With that intro. <laughs> We're sending you out with the intro. All right, guys. Have a good Saturday. Good weekend. We'll see you uh, next week for the uh, the ESL tournament that they're going to be throwing on Sunday. The Holy Pale will be throwing up information on that. And then we'll be back with another mini tournament, 1v1, in two weeks. And then another grand tournament. Alright guys, peace.
two, one, brawl!